So I am on a boat right now on the Snohomish River with Snohomish County and the Tulalip tribes. This is the estuary and the estuary is really important because it's the place where juvenile salmon spend a lot of time to grow up big enough and strong enough to survive going out to the ocean. But we've lost a lot of that habitat for several reasons. Right now we're in the middle of a tidal channel that last year at this time would have been covered in blackberries and we'd be in six feet of mud. We had 15 different dike breaches and uh, two additional places where we dug out side channels. And so what you can see behind us is the salt water entering the restoration project. They come out here four times a month to survey fish to see if all these habitat restoration projects are working. Right now we're going to set a net and see if we can find some salmon in the new project. What we're looking for is what kind of fish are using the site. Uh, specifically if salmon are using the site and if they're bigger or if there are more than we'd find in other places in the estuary. So that is a wild Chinook salmon that we just pulled out of our restoration project. That little guy is what it's all about. Okay, so what are they doing now with the fish? Our team is identifying the species of fish, measuring how long they are, and uh, checking to see if they're hatchery or wild salmon. Why does that data help you? It helps us understand how the fish are reacting to the restoration projects that we're putting in place. One of the important things to remember is whether our salmon are hatchery or wild, all salmon need habitat. This is what salmon need to survive. The more of this habitat we can make, the more room there is for the fish, and the more likely they'll survive to get big and come back as adults. While these restoration projects are absolutely something to celebrate, we're way behind on reaching our restoration targets. We need to accelerate the work that we're doing to restore salmon habitat, improve our ag viability, and we estimate we need about $1.5 billion to do the work in the Snohomish Basin. And what we really want to do is speed things up. It's taken us a while to get these projects going, and we don't have the time right now to continue um, on the pace that we're at in order to be able to restore salmon and also to support or orca recovery. So they're working on another restoration project at the Mid Spencer Island site and that will happen this summer with another dike breaching that's expected to restore about 74 more acres for salmon habitat. On the Snohomish River, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News. Many scientists estimate at this rate salmon habitat recovery around Puget Sound could take 100 years to complete.